50 gallon power vented natural gas water heater. That's what we have here. And that's also, we're just doing a change out basically. Um, it's not like a fresh install, but we're gonna change, you know, the tank. Um, this pressure tank is newer, but I think they should get a new one with a new install because, you know, it is already a couple years old and I'd hate to reuse something that could potentially be an issue earlier on. You know, they paid for a new install, they should get a new tank. I was going to change the vacuum relief here. Um, and then one thing I just found that I'm not a big fan of, this is, water heater's been here for a little while. It's just sitting on there. There's like, there's nothing, they tried to glue it, it looks like, but I, I don't know. So, it's like they, there's some purple in there. I don't know how well you can see it, but kind of looks like somebody tried like put primer and you know, forgot glue or maybe this is not really a gluable fitting I'm not sure what kind of plastic this is I imagine it looks like it's supposed to be glued um, but uh, it wasn't so I just all I did so far is just unplug it so I can plug in my battery charger and so now we're gonna drain it drain this here yeah. pump I could I could gravity drain in this case but it's gonna take a whole lot longer so I'm gonna pump it out all right so on here we drew some arrows water goes in, in this way and out that way yes I need a new handle so I'm gonna connect this guy and as soon as we turn on this pump and it runs for even half a minute you're gonna notice this hose gets a whole lot more flexible with all that hot water running through same thing with open this all the way. Now open this one. So the handle's broke, so you can hear it already draining. That's because uh, luckily in this basement there's only one step down going from finished basement into the garage. So this is already draining to the driveway. So I'm gonna turn it on now, it's probably gonna be far too loud. So here we go. Camera battery died. I was saying was get this kind of where you want it you know I got the fittings on I know I need to connect here there's a valve up there which is nice so I'd really just need a coupling and a short piece so that'll be an easy one to figure out um, so I'm probably just gonna measure that out now Mint.
good. with ProPress before this was slightly out but now it's more out because of the way I had to press these it tends to push the pipe away from the tool so I'm gonna go all the way this way to try to push it back where I want it so It's just like I need too big to be able to get a really good reading on that. I, I, it looks really extremely close, so not that it can be changed now anyway. Crimped, 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 to make sure I didn't miss any. And then that was soldered, soldered, soldered. Oh, gotta crimp this guy. Let's see how that one's sitting. Really good, actually. putting back together the gas. Wow, did I have to change the nipple? Cool, I thought for sure I was going to. All of this, of course, any gas fitter is going to be leak checked. I'm not going to tell you all the little details of gas piping because unless you have a license, you really, really shouldn't be touching them. Get it up 
really lucky. This one usually gotta change a nipple or adjust something, but it's not gonna be just right. Just saw a leak right here. That's a joint that I didn't solder. May not have been soldered good in the first place, but I did have to heat this up quite a bit in order to get this out. And that's probably what affected that. So what I'm gonna do is try to just warm it up. I'm gonna release some pressure. Just opening up the relief there. now I'm going to see if I can carefully heat this up. Probably going to do is pop this cap here. Come on. There we go. If I can put something on there. This this wouldn't allow pressure that way, but it'll allow a vacuum in. So if I put something on here that is going to hold it down, any steam created by soldering right here is going to let it go up and out. So let's see if I got something that has enough weight to do that. Ooh, it's almost heavy enough. I think that'll work. I don't think I need much here. I think I just need to heat it up and get some more solder in there to flux. Maybe. Drags are not that great for this kind of work. I think the other one's better. The less stringy. venting coming out the top there. So. If I can flux it and get a little more solder, maybe they didn't have a lot of solder in there to begin with. So I don't remember wiping any off this when I was trying to take out the other piece. hitting this with a lot of solder so that it sucks it in. I think that would have been a pinhole leak had I left it. Alright, so I'm going to 
to slowly turn this on. And with just a little bit of water going through, I just want it to flow through here. You know, it can just go right down the pipe, but that's just allowing this to take out a lot of steam. You know, this got warm, just the steam passed them by it. So that should pull this cold water going through. This is already cool again. This should pull the heat right out of this. It's gonna suck the heat right down. I didn't want to cause any issues with my new piece here. So just trying to be careful, very careful with the heat. camera died outside when I was putting on the final fitting but that's okay it's all I did was glue it on and silicone the whole so that's good to go um, but this is the final install uh, so new tank new expansion I'm sorry new expansion tank uh, new vacuum relief new mixing rod there wasn't a mixing rod here before so now they're gonna have equivalent to about a 60 gallon tank so when you have a 40 you get equivalent to about 48 and you have a 50 it equivalent to about 60. That's about uh, the math on that, roughly. I think it's uh, two gallons for every eight gallons, something like that. Uh, in any case, so yeah, that's uh, that's just the install. Um, once this thing is actually heated up, be able to adjust the mixing valve at a faucet and uh, be in good shape. So, gas reconnected. I bubble tested all that. That's good. I'm gonna clean up this pipe a little bit more. Um, there's nothing wrong with reusing one of those, is it? Why waste the materials and throw it out? It's kind of a waste. Um, and new venting, proper venting, because the other one was never glued. And, uh, and the fitting outside has a bird screen on it, and that 2 inch elbow or 90 with that fitting comes with a water heater in this case, which is nice. So, other than that, probably gonna have to put in. Possibly a water alarm. I don't know if it's on this job or not, if he wants one, or if he's got some sort of home automation he's going to use instead. I'm not sure. I'll have to check with that. But that's easier to just sit in the pan. So, pop on his insulation. And overall, be good to go. So, that's it. That's the whole job. Just change out, work that well, nice and clean proper so uh, if you can please like and subscribe if these videos help you or if you've learned something it does help us out to be able to produce and make and still keep the motivation to keep making videos you know if people aren't watching it or liking it it kind of seems like it's a waste of time so if people are liking it subscribing and uh and enjoying the videos you know it's one way to let us know by doing that and uh it does help us out as far as being able to keep making more so that's it and i hope you guys have a great day one thing I wanted to add here, so it was a good idea, is we have these tags we have made, and one side has the business card, the other side has this list of all the different kinds of shutoffs and whatnot. So gas supply shutoff sits right there, so the customer's not sure what goes where, it's tagged. This one, cold water shutoff, it's marked. And then up here, hot water shutoff. So um, not only do they have a way of contacting us, but they have uh, knowing what it does what. So in emergency, they can shut it off. And of course, the sticker here, which is pretty nice. So again, with our contact information, if they need us. That's all.